In California, we had an uh, attorney general, a lawyer who knew the law, who knew the Constitution, but his uh, fall uh, failure was ambition at any cost. He wanted to run for governor, and he saw that the single one most popular uh, political issue in California was the get rid of the Japs movement. Mm. And so this attorney general became an outspoken leader of that movement. He, and he made an amazing statement. He said, we have had no reports of sabotage or spying or fifth column activities by Japanese Americans. And that is ominous because the Japanese <laughs> are inscrutable. Oh my. You don't know what they're thinking. So we better lock them up before they do anything. And so that, uh, that contributed to the uh, mm -hmm. hysteria sweeping across the country. Who was that attorney general? That attorney general became elected governor because of that p position that he took. He was reelected twice and then went on to be appointed the chief justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. And his name is Earl Warren, oh my. the so-called liberal oh, gosh. Supreme Court chief justice oh, wow. and the so-called liberal president of the United States. FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, was swept up by that and signed Executive Order 9066, which put us in those prison camps with no charges and therefore no trial. You need charges to challenge to have a trial. Mm -hmm. And so therefore no due process, one of the most egregious violations of the U.S. Constitution.